from the makers of WYWNA, a 20,000 lumens per light, 6,500 Kelvin solar street light. So you want to hook these bad boys up anywhere imaginable, by the boat yard, by your shed, by your gazebo, anywhere. You have a nice size solar street light. The base of the light is 9 inches, measures overall 16 inches by 5 and a half inches with about an inch and a half depth. You get a remote control. With the remote control, you have two modes, sensor one, sensor two. On sensor one, three hours and five hours and a four hour timer with an on and off switch and a light on. Two AAA batteries not included. You have a hardware kit to hang up your lights and to assemble the lights. An optional Phillips and a 7.0 socket needed. You take the light and the pole you place together, you take a bolt, slide through, and you take the 7.0 millimeter nut and you place on. And you repeat for the other side, like so, by placing in and on. With the Phillips screw, hold the back. With the socket, hold the front and tighten down. Repeat for the others. Supply your own two AAA batteries, rechargeables, disposables, lithiums. Close up. In order for the unit to work, simply press the on button and the light on and off. Shut the light off and go out and place in the sun for a full day or two to fully charge the lithium battery. We have an on and off, a charging indicator, a sensor, 150 super bright 3030 LEDs at 12 to 24 hours of runtime of 10 hours of charging time. When you turn on the unit, it has three modes of light. After a number of seconds, the light will shut off when turned on. As you can see, the charge indicator in red. We're going to go outside and allow the unit to charge in the sun for a day or two. Let me show you how to install. We'll be hanging this 10 feet up in the air while the sensor distance is 15 to 30 feet and the remote control is 10 through 17 feet underneath the light. With the 3000 lithium battery built in, the unit would charge all day and sun. These are made of ABS plastic and it's 6 volts, 3 watts per light. 8 to 10 feet, place on your light, lock down, turn on your light after it gets completely charged in order to place up your other light as well, anywhere you like, in the front in the back, by the boat, by the RV, and more. While the unit is charging, we'll come back in the evening hours and demonstrate the three modes. 100% on, 30% on, and dim. It's the evening hour. The lights came on. Mode sensor one dims down to about 30% brightness. When it detects motion, it lights up to 100%. As we walk over to the light, as you can see, they start to light up and they sense. We're gonna change them over to mode number two. It give a single blink. And after 30 seconds, they're gonna switch off entirely until they sense motion and light up 100%. They are off. As soon as they detect motion, they will both light up. The red button is on, manual on. The 2400 milliamp battery to it runs dry and recharges the next day. Those are the three modes of the light. And then you have the timer to set. 
If you set the timer, the light will blink and they will shut off at a certain amount of time. They have 150 to 180 foot throw of square foot, 2400 milliamp battery, three modes, two remote controls to put anywhere imaginable. The front of the house, the back of the house, on the side, by the boat, anywhere you need to have light collecting the sun all day long. The solar street lights are IP rated and on a sunny or cloudy day, they'll fully charge the battery. I hope you enjoy your product. These are something that you are after.